Off a day. I'm Chef Peter Duenas of Mescla Restaurants, and you're watching Food Obsession. Just got into San Francisco Airport. We're gonna grab our bags and head over to get our car. I'm going downtown for some good check. Let's go. Downtown San Francisco. We just got in. And we're gonna have dinner at a famous boulevard restaurant where they're known for their smoked pork chops. Okay, so we'll start off with the sea scallops and the foie gras. Foie gras? And then definitely gonna have the Berkshire. So I just ordered the Berkshire pork prime rib chop. Prime rib pork chop. And here at the boulevard, they're very well known for their smoked pork chop. And uh, tonight they're serving it with a spoon cornbread. I don't know what that means. Maybe they make it like a casserole, spoon it out. It's also being served with their house bacon, a French cutlet. Romano beans, ruby plum, and maple elixir. Wow, that sounds super fancy for me. But I am a pork chop connoisseur. I really love pork chops. So we're gonna put this pork chop to the test today. So while we're waiting for my pork chop, got a couple of appetizers, some duck liver, very nicely prepared. We also have some scallops, and uh, man, it looks delicious. This is definitely an upscale restaurant. Got a little bit of foie gras. I love duck liver. This is cooked to perfection. So good. The moment of truth is here, my pork chop has arrived. Let's get down. Perfectly done. Light sauce. Just a light smoke. It's tender. It's got an interesting texture. I know it's been cured or frying. Now I know why they are famous for this pork chop. It's very different from any other pork chop I've had anywhere else in the in the world. I gotta say, this pork chop might be in my top two of all times. I might have to order another one. It's kinda small. So good. Got it paired with the Russian River Pino. Perfectly matched. Been thinking about this pork chop for a while. So I'm here at the famous Fisherman's Wharf. And whenever you're here in San Francisco, you definitely gotta come and check out the wharf. Now, a lot of tourists like to go to Pier 39. There's all kinds of good stores and shops there. But for me, nice I like stuff. to go right where the good stuff's at, which is right here. Got a whole 
bunch of options. Lobster, crab, shrimp. Most importantly, some hot clam chowder. Sounds really good right now. So let's go and check it out. One thing about being here at the Fisherman's Wharf, they actually let you try things for free. Trying some of the clam chowder. Not so shabby. Now on to the next. I'm looking for the best bowl of clam chowder. Right here. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's got to know it. Yeah, it's a family recipe, so. Alright. How much is it? 841. It looks crazy. Perfect characteristics of good sourdough. Little tang, nice chew, but not dry, nice and moist. Gardino Seafood House. They've been around since 1908. It's a small family run business. A recipe has been passed down generation after generation. And they assured me that this is one of the best here in San Francisco. And I probably agree. Not a lot of fluff, there's a whole lot of clam. The seasoning's just right, I can taste the clam. It's rich with clam flavor. And it's got some potatoes in it, perfectly cooked as well. Awesome. Today we decided to stop by the Rincon Center where they house my favorite dim sum restaurant, Yang Sing. What I really like about this place is they always throw in the California twist to their dim sum. And when I say dim sum, I mean primo dim sum. So let's go and check it out and see what they have today. So what we have here is a Shanghai dumpling and it's got soup juice in it, very well known. Oh man, so good. I like how you get some of that broth with your dim sum and then it's served with a Chinese rice wine vinegar and some ginger. And this is how you eat it. Speechless right now, but I skipped breakfast this morning specifically because we knew we were gonna come here today and I saved enough room and saved some calories so we can burn it all right here. One shrimp, my one shrimp dumpling. Anything? Spare rib. Spare rib. And what else? Yeah. I got pot bun. Bun. What is this? This is seafood basin. Okay, we'll try that. You got some seafood basil dumplings. Looks interesting. Like I said, China or in Hong Kong or Taiwan, you wouldn't typically see a seafood basil dim sum option. <laughs> the seafood is so fresh. It's got a crunch to it. It's sweet and succulent. 
I don't even want to film anymore. Put away the cameras. Time to eat. Get a pot. Get a pot. So tonight we're here at the famous Tan Long restaurant. It's a Vietnamese fusion type of restaurant. They are well known for their garlic roasted crab and their garlic noodles. And boy, I am a garlic lover. This is a way but you will see it taste and you will see why it is like So top secret, top secret is garlic roasted crab, secret sauce, and the garlic noodles. Yeah, this, this one, this two, this two other crabs, I think they're more easy to a little lax. So there you have it. Heard it from the guy himself. Been here for a long time. The garlic roasted crab and the garlic noodles is the most best kept secret in this restaurant and in the community. And they're top, top secret. It even says on the menu, top secret. When you order crab, they put on a nice little crab bib so you can enjoy your crab and not have to worry about getting it on your clothes. Enjoy it. Thank you. Try some garlic noodles right before I work on my crab. Yeah. You can tell the noodles are freshly made. Got a hint of sweetness. A little bit of richness. Garlic flavor is just perfect. A little bit of spice in there. Oh man. Can't wait to have some of this crab. My favorite parts are right in here. Got a little bit of that crab liver. Crab fat. Oh. Seafood sweetness. Done. They seasoned it very nicely with some garlic, the secret garlic sauce and spices, and roasted it. I'm tomorrow, so I use my teeth. Spices and it's in there. It's actually in the crab. They obviously you have a great technique. So good. It's top secret. Forget about. San Francisco, California. Wow, what a flavorful trip. Today, I got a couple of great recipes we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off with my version of a garlic roasted Dungeness crab with garlic noodles. My second dish is gonna be a lightly smoked double cut pork chop. 
served with potato hash cakes and a black cherry red wine sauce. To start off, I've got a huge double cut pork chop that we're gonna brine for about 24 hours and that's gonna give it some moisture. I'm gonna start off with a few simple ingredients. I have some salt and sugar and we wanna balance it and that's usually the case when it comes to brining. I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, got some peppercorns, bay leaves, and I've got some water. Now, when brining a pork chop, the purpose of brining a pork chop is basically to tenderize it and also keep the juices in so you don't get a dry pork chop and nobody likes a dry pork chop. So I've got one that's already been pre-done. I'm gonna get this in a smoker for about an hour and just to impart some of that light smokiness to it. And I'm gonna start working on our sauces and our Dungeness crab. I'm gonna start off our black cherry and red wine reduction. It's a very simple recipe. First off, we're gonna start off with some red wine. And this is uh, all about the reduction. I have some black cherries in its syrup. I add some of that to here. I've got some beef stock and I'm gonna add to that and allow that to reduce. I'll season that with some black pepper, some salt. We'll allow that to reduce and we'll get started on our garlic roasted crab. For our garlic roasted crab, I have a pre-steamed Dungeness crab, about two pounds, and I've already cleaned it out. I've got the head and I've got the body. I've taken out the gillets and you basically just have a whole Dungeness crab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm trying not to disturb the liver, but what I like to do is I'm gonna put the crab liver in there. I'm just gonna snap this in half. Just clean off the shell that's not gonna be needed. In the tradition of Tan Long, they have their secret garlic sauce. I got my secret garlic sauce. And just a few basic ingredients. There's clarified butter, fresh garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, and a few of my secret seasonings and spices. So I'm gonna basically cover this with a secret sauce before we roast this. I'm gonna give this a nice toss. Okay, and then we're gonna get some sauce into the, the shell, the, the hat shell and we'll roast this for about 10 minutes. I've got my uh, smoked pork chop, just came out. We've got a pan sear that, and then we're gonna work on our garlic noodles, and we'll get some grub on. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we'll get this in the oven for about 15 minutes, and we'll work on our garlic noodles. Next, so I've got some chow mein noodles for my garlic noodles. Put a nice uh, portion. We're gonna blanch this with some hot water. Put this in a hot pot. And some of that secret garlic sauce. My little twist, got some coconut cream. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now we'll get plating. Got my potato hash cakes. Get that going for the pork chop. We'll 
plate up our garlic roasted crab. The crab has come out of the oven and it looks and smells delicious. Got a bunch of this garlic noodles. Got our roasted crab here. Look at that. It smells so good. And then we got our crab helmet. And we'll garnish this with a little bit of scallions. And that's our garlic roasted crab with garlic noodles. Pork chop is next. Got my potato hash cake. That's gonna go down as the base. I've got some green beans and some baby bok choy that I'm gonna use for vegetables. Got my juicy pork chop. Oh man, that looks crazy good. Got my black cherry red wine reduction. Just put some of the sauce around the plate. Put some of this nice cherry on top. Got some fried scallions for garnish. And that's our pork chop. So there you have it, our two specials for the month, our garlic roasted Dungeness crab with garlic noodles and our lightly smoked double cut pork chop with potato hash cake and black cherry red wine reduction. Don't forget, come in and give these specials a try at both of our Mescla locations in Agania and Tumon. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Food Obsession. Oh my god, I feel like I'm right back in Tan Long. Good. Get all hash cake. Mm. Wow. This is going to be a great special. <laughs>